Flying Hawks and welcome to our Hawk News Show. Today is Friday, October the 30th, 2015. I'm Kira. And I'm Mariana. And today we're at the park celebrating Oktoberfest. And it's a lot of fun. Come on, Kira. Let's go take a look. Let's go. All that walking and dancing is making me hungry. Isn't it making you hungry, Mariana? It sure is, Kira. I can't wait to bite into that juicy hamburger. Hawks, let's go to Ayana to see what you're going to be having for lunch today. Good morning, Hawks. I'm Ayana with your lunch today. Today for lunch, we'll be having cheesy cheeseburger. Mmm. Yogurt snacker. My favorite. Harvest chicken salad, tasty green beans, waffle potato fries, juicy whole fruit juice cup, and as always, milk variety. I'm Yana, and that's what we'll be having for lunch today. Thank you, Ayana. Lunch is my most favorite time of the day, and that's a fact. Speaking of facts, Kira, let's go to Caroline for our That's a Fact segment. Good morning, Hacks. I'm Caroline with That's a Fact. Today's fact is about Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest is the largest festival held yearly in October. But did you know the first Oktoberfest wasn't a festival at all? The first Oktoberfest was a public celebration of a marriage of a crown prince and a princess in Munich, Germany. All of the people in Munich were invited to the five-day event. Over the years, an annual Oktoberfest celebration has changed and grown. Today, it is celebrated worldwide and lasts an entire month. Oktoberfest includes activities such as tree climbing, competitions, barrel races, and other fun activities. Not to mention all the different kinds of food to eat. And that's a fact. Wow, Kira! That was so interesting. I never knew Oktoberfest was originally the celebration of a wedding between a crown prince and princess. Well, I'm powerfully happy that Oktoberfest happens every year. Powerful? That's a pretty strong word, Kira. Let's go to Sundays for our word power segment to see what other words are powerful. Good morning, Hawks. I'm Sundays with today's word power. Today's word is festival, F-E-S-T-I-V-A-L, festival. A festival is a day or period of celebration. I went to the fall festival last weekend, and that's word power. Thank you, Sundays. There's quite a festival going on right here, Kia. Look at all these pumpkins. Aren't they great? Have you ever eaten a pumpkin, Mariana? I can't say that I have, Kira, but I sure like to carve one. Me too. Let's go to Ryan to learn more about how healthy pumpkins are. Good morning, Hawks. I'm Ryan Wood. Let's stay healthy. First, there's a riddle for you. You might pick up one of these when you go out to a patch. Carve it, put in a candle, and light it with a match. What do you think it could be, Hawks? Well, if you said pumpkin, you are 100% right. What comes to your mind when you think about pumpkins? Charlie Brown, jack-o'-lanterns, pumpkin pie. A pumpkin carving is lots of fun. It can be the starting point of a healthy snack, too. Pumpkins are packed full of antioxidants. This means that it helps with organ health, joint health, and stress relief. Pumpkins can benefit your eyes from their concentrated vitamin A content. They are a great source of fiber to help keep your body running smoothly. Because of their lovely orange color, they can even prevent aging and heart disease. So the next time you go out and pick a snack, try some pumpkin superfood. I'm Ryan for Let's Stay Healthy. Thank you, Ryan. I never knew pumpkins were good for anything other than carbon, Kira. I'm going to have to experiment on that sometime. Speaking of experiments, Ms. Gordon's class has an experiment they would like to share with you, Hawks. Let's take a look.
Today we're learning about the free states of matter in Miss Gordon's class. Let's see if we can hear our last state of matter. Ready? Listen. What state of matter did you hear? Let's see if we can make if we can see all of our gas. Ready? Did you like the experiment? Yes. What did you learn about? A solid minto, a liquid soda, and turned into a gas. Did you like the experiment? Yes. This is Amelie for Hawk News. Thank you, Zachary. You're welcome. We've been waiting for this all day long. Now let's go to the haunted house. Yay! <laughs> have a safe, that's all we have for today. Have a safe weekend and a freaky Friday. Bye. I was working in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. My monster from his slab began to rise, and suddenly, to my surprise, he did the mash. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. It caught on in a flash. He did the monster mash.